Welcome back to Football in Time. Today we're going to be looking at the top 10 South American players of all time to play in the Premier League. Now South America love the football. They worship footballers and we've had some amazing ones in the Premier League. Sometimes we don't get the best of them because they tend to favour going to La Liga or maybe Serie A because of the weather I guess I assume they hate the English weather a lot of the great South American players have complained about the English weather but we do keep some great South American players so here's a look at the top 10 at number 10 is Philip Coutinho of Brazil the attacking midfielder was signed for 8.5 million from Inter Milan in January 2013 Coutinho quickly became an Anfield favourite for his many wonder goals and goal of the season contenders most of them were from long range outside the box top bin shots. Coutinho became Liverpool's talisman in the number 10 position and he would go on to play for Liverpool 201 times scoring 54 goals. Liverpool would eventually sell him for 140 million to Barcelona, an amazing 130 million profit for Liverpool which gave them the money to sign Van Dijk and Alisson. At number 9 it is Janino Pallista, the Middlesbrough one. Many fans were surprised when the newly promoted Middlesbrough signed the 22 year old Janino especially when many European top teams were chasing him. He became an icon at Borra for his flair and goals. Atletico quickly slapped him up after two years, but he would return to Middlesbrough for two more stints. He was an early South American expert in the Premier League, and the fact that he was doing that at a small club like Middlesbrough gave him more infamy in the Premier League. Coming in at number 8, it is Alexis Sanchez from Chile. Arguably the greatest Chilean footballer of all time, Sanchez burst onto the scene for his performance with Udinese and Barcelona before surprisingly joining Arsenal for £31 million. A quick fan favourite, Sanchez easily became one of the best players in the Premier League. He would lead Arsenal to two FA Cups and winning the 2015 PFA Fans Player of the Year. Sanchez was quick, he had creative intelligence, he was a hard-working player and he knew how to score goals. In four seasons, he played 166 games and scored 80 goals for Arsenal. At number 7, it is Gus Poyet of Uruguay. The first Uruguayan star of Premier League, Poyet made his name starting for Chelsea in the mid-90s. He helped Chelsea to finish third in the Premier League for the 1999 season while contributing 14 goals from the midfield. He also scored the winning goal in their 1998 Super Cup final against Real Madrid. The following season, he scored 18 goals, including both of Chelsea's goals in the FA Cup semi-final and then led them to the FA Cup glory. He would transfer to Tottenham after Chelsea and then scored 14 goals in his debut season for Tottenham and led them to the League Cup final. But in typical Spurs fashion, they lost that final to Blackburn Rovers. At number 6, it is Pablo Zabaleta of Argentina. Now he signed for City for £6 million after rejecting Juventus. He was part of City's renaissance as they ascended to the top. Zabaleta is a cult hero at Man City and was an integral member which won two Premier Leagues including scoring the first goal in the famous 3-2 victory over QPR in the last day when they won their first ever Premier League. In total Zabaleta made 333 appearances for Man City. Coming in at number 5, it is Gilberto da Silva from Brazil. Gilberto's performances in 2002 World Cup where they won the whole thing. His performance caught the eyes of Arza Wenger and he would sign quickly for £4.5 million. Gilberto would form a formidable midfield with Patrick Vieira in the heart of the invincible Premier League winning team where he was ranked one of the best defensive midfielders in the world. Gilberto's nickname was the Invisible Wolf for his underappreciated style of play. In fact, according to a data analysis system, Gilberto along with Paul Scholes and Frank Lampard were one of the few midfielders in England who maintained an elite Champions League level type performances throughout his career. In six seasons with Arsenal, he played 244 games and scored 24 goals. At number four, it is Carlos Tevez from Argentina. The amazingly talented but also highly controversial Carlos Tevez came into the Premier League in some dodgy business deals with West Ham where he famously kept them up from relegation on the last day of the season. That would earn him a move to Man United where he played 63 games and scored 19 goals and formed an amazing trio with Ronaldo and Rooney to win the Premier League and Champions League. He would then make another controversial move by going across the town to Manchester City where he spent four seasons making 148 appearances and scoring 73 goals 
and winning the Premier League again. Tevez comes in at number four. At number three, it is Fernandinho from Brazil. The current captain of Premier League champions Manchester City has been with them since 2013 and he has been the rock at their midfield. He is a holding midfielder that has pace, energy, technique, movement and work rate. And even though he signed with City at age 28, he has aged like fine wine because he's still performing at his current age of 36. In total, he has made 373 appearances scoring 25 goals. He has helped City win 4 Premier Leagues, 6 League Cups and 1 FA Cup. At number 2, it is Luis Suarez from Uruguay. Now had he stayed in the Premier League for a bit longer, he could have been number 1. But the fact that he was only in the Premier League for three and a half years and still makes it to number two on the list says a lot about how good Suarez was and the impact he left on the league. He signed for Liverpool in January 2011 and in total made 133 appearances and scored 82 goals. He was amazing for Liverpool and an instant star. Most of his goals were sheer brilliance of quality and that amazed the whole Premier League including nearly leading Liverpool to glory in 2013. He scored five hat-tricks for Liverpool including three Free against one team, Norwich. Suarez had his controversial moments, but his brilliance in the league outshines all of that. And finally, at number one, it is the one and only Sergio Aguero from Argentina. There could only be one Aguero, and after making 175 appearances by Atletico Madrid at, by only the age of 22, Man City signed him for £40 million. He will spend 10 years at the club, leading them from the front, winning five league titles including being part of the single greatest moment in Premier League history, his last minute goal against QPR to win the league. He would score 260 times in 390 games to become Man City's all-time top scorer. And he is also the fourth all-time Premier League scorer with 184 goals. Aguero was a versatile striker that adapted to various styles of play Man City would force him to do under different managers. He's a legend of the league and he provided so many great moments for Man City. He put fear in opposing teams for a decade and soon will surely get a statue outside the Etihad Stadium. He is my number one greatest South American player to ever play in the Premier League. Thank you for tuning into this list. 